we can now exit that test and go on to the high pressure pump test and we're now looking at CP3 as a system and we have two options a startup test or a tightness test. A tightness test is the ability of this system to retain pressure without leakage. Now the pressure of course can leak from many components the injectors which we're going to do a back leakage test on soon so we'll be going to test those. It could be a pressure leakage across the high pressure regulator it could be a leakage uh, from in the rail uh, via the return circuit. Um, we don't know where this leak may take place. So this is a, a, a tightness uh, test to prove the system has hydraulic integrity. So let me select that first. And this should prevent us from running the engine. It says do not start motor. To activate, press start. So we now have a situation where before we had a, a cranking pressure of 300 bar. It's now telling us that we now have a theoretical pressure capability of 700 bar. So what we've done is we've doubled the pressure generation from the pump. So the point of this test is to prove the pump doesn't just build up 300 bar, but it can actually go to double that pressure because we now have direct control of the escape route, the pressure regulation. It's a proof test. I prefer to call it a proof test rather than tightness test. So we have target 700 bars and actual. So you can crank the car, please. Thank you. There you see the results of the test. 700 bar target, 650 bar actual. So we've now proved crank conditions only we have almost 700 bar build up from that pump. That to me is a very, very sound, efficient pump. What this tool has actually done for us is interrupted control, normal control, from the ECU and the pressure regulator. It's given us a duty or control cycle of 45%, almost 50%. So we're driving that valve 50% closed which should achieve 50% of the pressure capability of this system, which is 1,600 bars. And we actually did achieve just shy of 700 bar. So we have a very effective pump, and we've proved that by a very simple connection using this tool, directly driving the pressure regulator and monitoring the rail pressure via the sensor. So we've actually disturbed very little in the system but I'm able confidently to say now this pump is capable of building up 700 bars simply under a crank test with using this tool. So that's a tightness test or a proof, a pump proof test. What I'd like to do now is, is to do a, um, a startup test which allows me to take over control of the pressure regulator independent of the PCM to prove that pressure can be effectively and quickly built up from the pump whilst the engine is running. Two things will happen. You'll see an increase in noise, diesel noise, because the actual rail pressure is being increased. So I'm going to increase the pressure and decrease the pressure by varying the duty to this solenoid independently of the ECU. So I'm going to engage the startup test. It's asking me to put the adapter on, which we already have. We've obviously put an adapter between the tool and the valve, interrupting the ECU control. We've put a blind device in the circuit to fool the ECU. First thing we need to do is engage start. That allows us to run the engine. And you can see the default value, the duty value is 22%. And I can now increase or decrease that by the up and down key. And that in turn then should modify the pressure. So we're at the default pressure, 12 bar in the rail. And start up, please. We have around 300 bar pressure, but by increasing the duty, you can see the pressure's been increased. and decrease. You notice on the decreased pressure the engine goes quieter and you can see it's struggling now to run. We're down to 250 bar 
So let's increase the pressure again. 300, 400. And you can see that we can modify the pressure. And also at the same time, what's taking place here is the volume valve is looking at this. This, this system is still in a form of closed loop control. I'm playing about with this valve independent of the ECU. And the ECU is seeing that the rail pressure is not within its anticipated map. So it's driving the volume valve, trying to fight me. So as I drop pressure, it will increase the volume to build up and restore the pressure. And if I increase pressure, there you see the rise, 400 bar, and immediately the volume control valve then tries to counteract me. Switch off please, Jim. And start up again, please. What I've done now is remove the volume valve. This should now give me total control of the pressure control regulator. So I'm going to increase the 22% duty. And we should see the rail pressure then rise from 340 bar. 420, 440, 490. And we've hit a buffer. We've now come to the limit. The, the system's now going to default. But you've seen there now, I've got direct control. We've built up pressure very quickly, very effectively. We've defeated the regulation valve and volume, which is a, a normally fail open valve, so full volume going to the priming side of the pump. And we've taken over control now of the pressure regulator. Let me just reduce that. And we fire up again, please. Once again, I can remove, lower pressure, or increase pressure. I will soon hit this default buffer, 400, 500 bar, system closed down. So we've tested several things during this short duration. The ability to drive that valve and increase pressure, the ability to see the closed loop control of the volume valve, the ECU is trying to fix the problem, and you've seen the ECU's response to an aggressive pressure in the rail, and it's gone into limp home and shut the engine down to protect the engine. So. By using this tool, we've been able to achieve several tests which proved to me the components are working, the ECU's response is working, and in particular, the high pressure pump is actually capable of increasing pressure very quickly, very effectively. That's the purpose of that tool. It's to determine if the high pressure pump is in good order before we embark upon removing it for further testing or replacement. What I'd like to do now is a cylinder uh, injector back leakage test. So once again, we're just going to close the filming down just briefly whilst we set up the next set of tools and then we'll do some cylinder leakage testing. <laughs>